This is a News 3 Now special report. Thanks for watching this special report from Channel 3000. A lawsuit is asking the Wisconsin Supreme Court to release elderly and vulnerable inmates from the state prisons who would be at greater risk from the coronavirus outbreak. The lawsuit filed by the American Civil Liberties Union of Wisconsin says the release is necessary to avoid inmates stricken with COVID-19 flooding hospitals in communities where prisons are located. The action mirrors similar moves in states across the country by the ACLU and others. Governor Tony Evers has not responded to the lawsuit. The positive cases of coronavirus in Wisconsin continues to increase. Right now, over 3,000 Wisconsinites have tested positive for the illness. There's also a 122 deaths being reported. Milwaukee County leads the state with the most cases at over 1,500, including 73 deaths. Dane County is reporting 316 positive cases and 12 deaths. The economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic appears to be at the forefront of President Trump's thoughts as millions of Americans are feeling the strain of social distancing guidelines. President Trump says with the number of coronavirus infections going down, he's looking ahead to reopening the economy. Health experts say in order to reopen the economy, we'll need to quickly find people who are positive. What I would want to see, do we have the capability of doing the isolation, contact tracing and suppression of it? President Trump is considering creating a coronavirus economic task force to study the best ways to get businesses up and running and people back to work. The economic impact of the coronavirus is getting worse every day, affecting households all over the U.S. The newest numbers reveal 16.8 million Americans have filed for unemployment benefits since mid-March, nearly wiping out the more than 18 million jobs created in the past 11 years. That is the largest and fastest string of U.S. job losses in generations. Dozens of economists say there is no need to worry about an upcoming recession. They think it's already here. 45 economists said in a survey that the U.S. is already in a recession, and they believe we will stay in one for the first half of the year. The survey was done by the National Association of Business Economics. It points to the coronavirus pandemic as the problem, of course, and predicts a spike in unemployment, a decline in spending, and a dip in the economic growth rate. Still, the economists are optimistic that things will bounce back in the second half of the year, but they point out that it may need assistance from a federal stimulus package. It'll be a much different Easter this Sunday with social distancing and virtual worship replacing traditional church services. Easter Sunday celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ. President Trump once hoped it would mark the resurrection of the U.S. economy and a return to work for many Americans. But as the number of those succumbing to COVID-19 continues to rise and social distancing guidelines firmly in place, churches will not be holding regular service this Sunday. The Vatican says Pope Francis will be social distancing. He'll celebrate Easter alone in St. Peter's Basilica. And Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers will allow churches to offer drive-up services today for Good Friday and Easter. Evers last week denied a request from Republican lawmakers asking him to roll back his stay-at-home order that does not allow more than 10 people to gather for a church service. Many churches have moved to broadcasting services online, while others have already been offering drive-up services. And News 3 Now will be airing a service at 10.30 Sunday morning. The Easter Sunday Mass will be celebrated by Reverend Donald Hines. He's the Bishop of Madison. He'll be at St. Peter's, uh, Peter's Catholic Parish in Middleton. Again, that's Sunday at 1030 right here on News 3 Now. And thanks for watching this special report from Channel 3000.